Hello, hello. I hope you're having a wonderful on and passive day. I know that I am. You know, I recently attended a, uh, a Singapore webinar uh, on which Michael Williams of Canada was the key guest speaker. I certainly encourage everybody to take a look at that. So I put the link down in the uh, description box below. Now, at the beginning of the webinar, Mabel, who is one of the hosts of that platform, um, she played a couple of songs. Uh, one of them was the song On Passive Is The Way. It was done by uh, Renata, uh, Tim, and myself. And that kind of set a recurring theme throughout the webinar. So um, as you may have mentioned or imagined, uh, during the course of the event, there were some things that were talked about, lots of them, and passion was one of them. And of course, we usually think of passion as a, a strong emotion or perhaps even a driving force for achievement, you know, and rightfully so. So I think you'll agree to get massive momentum for achievement uh, and for success to flow unhindered, you know, freely, we have to follow our passions. We have to work through them. I also think we've seen this to be true for Ash and on passive. And we've seen that high caliber passion modeled for us in the way that on passive and, and Ash, you know, Mr. Mufara in particular, moves through, you know, everyday activities. Uh, it's a part of his character, as well as the culture and corporate philosophy of on passive. Now, in this, right, through his passion for technology and blessing folks, he shows us the way, shows us what it looks like to follow our passions, and that translates directly into the body on passive so that we could rightfully say, this is how we do it. This is how, right? Uh, do what we do, behave as we do. This is the way to do it. Uh, another topic that was uh, talked about was one of winning. Um Again, I'm sure that you will agree that winning as a team feels great and uh, it's it's more joyful overall than uh, celebrating our achievements, you know, alone, right? I mean, how many times have we heard within on passive, you know, we are in it to win it or we win bigger together, which as an aside, there's a the number three, you know, when you put three people, you, you get a team of three or more, uh, then that number three is a catalyst. And that catalyst multiplies, spiritually multiplies the power. So it, we do win bigger together. Now, all of these things bespeak the power and teamwork for achievement of, you know, power of teamwork for teamwork, stuff that we do. And at every turn, Mr. Mufara exemplifies teamwork as a way to magnify successes, and we're forever hearing about these things, and we're also forever hearing about the subsequent celebrations that are connected to that type of achievement, all the achievement that he's gotten, you know, with and through on passive. I mean, shoot, even recently, <laughs> look at the contests that he started, which aren't really contests at all. I mean, they're flat-out giveaways, you know, but there are a way to foster teamwork. They build camaraderie and they inject an element of fun while we wait, right? So, I mean, life is good. And all this by working together toward a common goal, as if to say, hey guys, look, life doesn't need to be hard. We can have some fun while we're doing this, right? Do the right thing and have fun at it. And actually, uh, life should flow without a whole lot of effort. I mean, or at least with minimal effort. And believe it or not, the best way to do this is to allow that to happen, right? By working from our passions and by doing these things, right? That are most uh, meaningful to us, then we're able to um, get in the zone, so to speak, right? I mean, you'll know when you're there. You'll know when you're doing what jazzes you up because you're going to be able to get in the zone, Um you may even find yourself losing track of time when you're involved in the activities that you really enjoy doing. And that's how you know that you found your passion. Um, that's when things really start to happen that make uh, successes easier and life more enjoyable. Now, that's when events get drawn, so to speak, into our lives, right? They begin to synchronize with each other and promote a 
a freewheeling success that feels almost magical. I mean, I live there a lot. You know? So I'm not saying you're going to get filthy rich, you know, really quick, or that you'll be able to afford everything that you set your eyes on, though that's been known to happen. All right. Now, I am saying that over time, your life takes on more ease and more joy. You find yourself laughing more and you find more personally fulfilling characteristics in your relationships. You find that you're feeling genuinely good about who you are and the path you're on and you're a whole lot less stressed out than you normally would have been. Of course, as they tend to do in webinars, at some point the conversation shifted a bit and Mabel talked about how getting abundance too quickly could be you know, a bad thing, mentioning that it could be harmful to anybody that's not able to handle it. Now, I can tell you that that topic seems to resonate with a lot of people because I put out a short video the other day that talked about that. Well, not really. I mean, the video was just slides with music. And so I didn't really talk about anything, but it was called On Passive Wants to See You Fulfilled. And it talked about that very theme. Um, uh, it also uh, put out a call to action for us to get ourselves ready for that kind of abundance, right? Now that crazy video, uh, I mean, it did really well for my for my channel. It hit like four thousand views the first day, brought on lots of new subscribers, hundreds of comments. I don't think I've ever had hundreds of comments, but anyway, um, the point being, or the, the the whole point of this and and, and the video is. The abundance that we stand to gain through on passive needs to be supported by the right mindset and the right heart. The kind of heart that on passive has been demonstrating for nearly five years and that certainly Mr. Mufar has been demonstrating for a great deal longer. I mean, he's been showing us the way for a long time, but we have to see it. We have to be able to identify with it if we're going to be emulating it. Now, Again, at some point, Michael switched over and he talked about doing things that may seem small to you that could have profound if, uh, impacts on somebody else. One of the things he mentioned was simply making someone laugh. Of course, the Bible says laughter is good for the bones, which, by the way, has been medically proven. Now, um, Michael also said, you know, that doing kind things for others, he talked about that and how others then begin to do kind things for us. And again, I wholeheartedly agree. That's how it works. What you put out, you're going to get back. I mean, when you go plant potatoes, it's not going to grow turnips, right? You're, you're going to get potatoes. Now, biblically, we're talking about the law of sowing and reaping. It's a God law, a universal law. Whatever you put out, whether it's a dollar or a doubt, ooh, didn't mean to rhyme, but I'll take it. You're going to get it back. It might take a minute. It might take longer. But it's going to come back to you in one form or another. Now, have you wondered about the uh, success that on passive is achieved even before we've, you know, the, the public debut? Well, look at what on passive puts out. It's not just excellent products. It's excellent karma. I mean, it's excellent emotion. It's uh, it, good thoughts. I mean, namely, uh, they're putting out compassion and goodwill, right? And that translates into action, compassion and action, which serves to bless the whole world in one form or another. And we're seeing it in real time. And that's the way. Um, and we can choose to be on that path as well. Many of us actually have. And the conversation shifted again to talking about being an example, right? Doing what's right being an example, about showing the way by example, through action, much like I just talked about on passive did. Now, in the Bible, uh, Jesus said, I am the way. Now, he was not talking about his personage, right, about his uh, physical body, the, the physical person he was. He was talking about his heart, his mind, and passions as they fostered action for how he lived, namely, blessing others. He was saying, I am the way. Do what I do and live how I live to find your joy and abundance, to find wholeness, right? Um, we're talking about the same type of thing here. 
So take note of the example that's being set by on passive. Look at the generosity. Look at the compassion and emotion that calls for and results in compassionate action, which uh, results in people around the world being blessed. I mean, I know I say that a lot, right? But uh, hey, get it, get it, right? Now look how Ash and the company are thinking of others and they bless others rather than holding on to the blessing for themselves. So on passive is the way in this sense to show love, compassion, generosity, selflessness, heart, caring, giving. This is the way to life abundance. You don't have to be a member of On Passive to behave this way, <laughs> but it's a lot easier if you are, right? Because we have the resources to, to help you. The Bible says to think on these things. Think on things that are true and honest and pure and lovely. Uh, things of good report, right? It says if there's anything with virtue, if there's anything praiseworthy, think on these things. And I think that we can all agree these are things happening with and coming out of on passive. Again, in that sense, on passive is the way. It is a conscious business continually showing the way to bless humanity and the planet. That's what a conscious business does, right? So please, let's take this time now before we go commercial to get ready to be in the best shape of our lives to help others achieve the same uh, simply by following on passive's lead. Thank you very, very much. On passive is the way. It's the way to go. And the, the modeled uh, example is, is right in front of us. So thank you so much. I hope that you have a wonderful afternoon and that your on passive day is equally, if not better, better than mine. Bye.